Lisa. Welcome to the Reflections exhibition. This is my first solo exhibition. I'm very excited to have my artwork on the walls and I hope you can join us to come and see it. This is Greg and he is a great friend and a mentor and a wonderful artist and he has helped inspire this exhibition and make it happen. It's a great privilege to uh, be part of this first showing. Um, and I we just want to introduce a couple of paintings to you. So Lisa, this one here is related to the beach, but where were you? What's, what triggered so, this off? I spend uh, my time once a year down at Cape Patterson. It's a beautiful part of the world in Victoria and there's some lovely beaches there and we go down to surf one and we spend time every day on the beach in our holiday. And I was standing on the sand, just looking out to the water. There was people everywhere, there were sounds everywhere, the sun was shining and it was reflecting off the water and it was so noisy and there was just so much that I, it was just all just melded into one. And I tried to capture that moment where you can just be present to all of those sounds and people and yet not have to take it all in at the same time. It's a, it's a strange feeling where it just starts to wash over you and you become one with that space. Sure. And I tried to capture that in the reflections of the water and the sand and that peaceful, relaxing time that you have at the Now Lisa, this piece here, uh, a smaller piece, is very different to the beach scene. So what's going on with this painting? Okay, this one, while it's still abstract, obviously you can see a little bit more of the fact that there's trees there and sun coming through the trees. This one's actually dawn, so it's a reminder that the light will always come. You might feel like in the night time, but light will always come. The sun will always rise. And I've used the circles because it's like when you take a photo at night and the lights become pixelated circles in your photos. Mm, I was thinking of glinting water or, or yes. moisture on the, on the grass. Yes, the well, the, the, actually, the image that I use, you could actually see the water on the the, yeah. on the grass and things so it's the, an abstract version of creating that sense of the morning dew and the light coming through the trees yeah and and yet it's not static as in pointillism no as in the impressionist it's not static it's actually it's got that organic feel about it yes yes good good thank you so lisa this is again very different yes and we've got this arranged almost like a little tableau yes um shrine-ish but so the birds and the gold and uh, yes. tell us a little bit more. Well, a couple of things. I, I love birds. They're, they're something that really speak to me and I love going into nature and just being really present to them. Bit of a bird watcher maybe, but more than that, uh, it's about the peace that I experience when I just sit in nature and the birds are there. They're both herons, these particular ones, and I've used gold in there, again, to bring light into the pictures. All of my work is about light. All of it is about finding the light in the images. I'm very curious, I like to play and explore, so there's a variety of mediums. I don't just stick to one type. I, and I love abstract, I love the color and abstract, but occasionally I will bring realism into it as well, which you see in these ones here. Now, just also while we're recording, um, these small pieces here, I'm thinking back to the first painting, the second painting we looked at, the ones in the early morning, and yet it seems like here, I don't know whether these were painted before or after, but it seems like you've developed the idea in these and it's become a little bit more pixelated. You're actually right, these were first. Oh, well, that's a good guess. <laughs> and um, it is that sense of the trees and the light coming through the trees. Um, that we've got here and I developed that idea further using individual circles rather than just the speckles of light that the inks right. have provided. So this is a precursor it to is. what became a later work. That's right. Yes, it is. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Thanks for watching and I hope you can join us. The exhibition will be going on till the 23rd of January. We have two Saturdays between that time, the 13th and the 20th of January. At 2 p.m. if you want to join us there will be live music and something to eat as well so come and join us and uh, enjoy the music and the art. Thank you.